Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Uh, my first guest is a really talented guy. You guys, he was on Mad TV after me. He's a great stand-up. Does insanely great impressions. And uh, he's in town. What are you doing? What are you doing in town? Are you doing a club? D doing Gotham up there, at Gotham, with a friend of mine, Steve Kramer, and uh, another gentleman. I forgot his name, but he's on the show as well. So. Pablo Francisco, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. You look now, good, man. How long are you on Mad? Well, that's very. See, so you are a good actor. <laughs> How long were you on Mad TV for? Like seven episodes. You we're did, just yeah, yeah, it was uh, closing up the season there. At uh, it was like it was, a, it was a great experience because uh, I saw you do a sketch that was so unbelievably impressive. Where you did like the movie guy voice and Schwarzenegger, oh. like a trailer, like everything, like seven people. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that was when uh, they wanted me to be that one guy who's like a creepy date who goes on uh, <laughs> goes on a date and he talks basically in and out with his voice in the movie previews and he's like, "Hi, how are you? It's good to see you." <laughs> All right. And like, can you can you get me a drink? Okay, I'll take a Pepsi right now. And then, <laughs> and it was uh, <laughs> well, you because you, you, you have that voice. You can tell just when you talk. Do you get an insane amount of voiceover work? I you mean, know, the thing is, I met Don LaFontaine. I was on the. I was doing He's a, the guy, the movie guy. Yeah, the voice preview guy. And he right. comes up to me uh, and goes, you know, we got five hours of kill. We're doing this, like, TV show. Is uh, that how he talks? This yeah, regular, too? Just exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> and he wow. goes, uh, he can be, like, evil, too. He can be like, someone's playing a deadly game. That scares the hell out of me. <laughs> right? yeah. And then, he, of course, he goes in and says, this summer has Brady written all over uh, it. Kind of <laughs> Same voice. Same voice. Evil or Brady. Yeah, evil kind of. <laughs> You know, and he goes, let's go to my house for like five hours. We're at we're working on the Frank Caliendo show on TBS, right? Oh, so, okay, yeah. So, so we had like five hours of kill. I'm thinking, what can I do to get out of this? And he's like, no, come on, let's let's go. He goes, you're a little radical, so let's go to my house. <laughs> so uh, boy, that is creepy. Yeah. So we go to his house, and uh, he has this big old. He's like, we walk in there. He goes, walk right into the kitchen. He goes, you want a cookie? I go, no, it's okay. Cookie talks like it says cookie. And then he has this, uh, this is this is my table of solitude. And it's like the Superman table. Had this big old see-through crystal. So this guy is on a, a level of creepiness that's like extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely. And, and he's he, got a bunch of money. Yeah, a bunch of cash. And he was showing me, uh, you know, he had two kids, which was great. And then he had an elevator, goes to his bedroom. And he goes, you know what? I got to do some voiceovers. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs real quick. <laughs> He's and got he goes, a studio in his house. Studio in the yeah. house. We go downstairs. He goes, I do uh, five of these a day, and I live like a king. Oh, my God. And he goes in there and... He figured it out. He figured out life, yeah. this guy. So, yeah, so a few, few uh, you know, little, you know, faxes come in. He goes, goes in there, takes it out, and goes into his little dome. Yeah. And he goes, Keith or Sutherland, box off his DVD set. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he goes, he goes, oh, see, that's what I do right there. And then we just, <laughs> we started getting, like, really close, you know, like, talking. And, and he goes, I invented that right there. And it was this... Uh, Right in between the, the, I guess, the studio part, oh, excuse me, there was this, like, uh, there's a little space between, I guess, sometimes like the oven and the refrigerator or something yeah. like that. You just pull that little little shelf out, and I invented that right there. It's one of those little things. You, you got, like, a patent and everything? Or? Everything, yeah. And I go, oh, I, I think I've seen that before. But he's like, <laughs> yeah, if you want to put your donuts or your, your coffee right there. <laughs> I invented that. In a world where you need donuts. That's right. <laughs> and uh, he uh, basically, we just, you know, kicked back and talked for like five hours. And he was like, so. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. And he goes, you want some Stoli? You want, you want some? Nah, no, he knows you do an impression of him, too. Or, or no, he didn't know. Yeah, he does, he does know that. He goes, he goes, I always wanted someone to do me. And he got like really like emotional. Well, that took... could have a couple of meanings at this point. Yeah, really. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sure you, don't want, you don't want a chloroform <laughs> cookie, you're sure? <laughs> chloroform cookie. <laughs> so someone's doing it. And then. Off. And then I hear you want to do me. <laughs> you wake up to this. Oh my gosh! Oh, him uh, coming to a theater near you. But uh, he uh, he got like really emotional. He goes, you know what? I always wanted someone to do me, and you do me better than I do me. So he yeah. took a picture of me, and I was like goofing off. He goes, no, I'm serious. And he took the picture and he put it right there by all his family. So I was like, oh, wow. kind of cool. Next to his family. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, kind of, you know, kind of like turning to Michael J. Fox, like, you know, can't believe that, huh? <laughs> kind of emotional <laughs> thing talk, you know? That was the greatest segue into another impression I've ever seen about. <laughs> I work on him sometimes. I sort of like, I ended up became Michael J. Fox. <laughs> then it became Michael J. Fox. <laughs> you know, talk. Now, do you do, do you do Michael J. Fox, do you do him with the disease? That's kind of hard. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's hard not to. Now, I feel so bad for that guy. Well, man. he came out with a sitcom about it, so why not? I think it's yeah. open season, right? Yeah, right. I mean, he's, it's disconcerting. Uh, I thought it got canceled. Well, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. Michael J. Fox's TV show about, what is it? He has uh, Parkinson's? Yeah. What yeah. a weird name. Parkinson's. <laughs> Can't be like, you know, Lou Gehrig's disease. That's a weird name. Asperger's. 
Asperger's. <laughs> that's something that Beavis and Butthead come up with. Asperger's yeah. is, yeah. A, is a really, they should change that. <laughs> hey, Beavis. It's an odd sounding disease. <laughs> you got Asperger's, man. Yeah. Hey, Beavis, you got butt munch. You know, <laughs> as, Asperger's. I'd rather have butt munch. <laughs> yeah, butt munch. Hey, bro, you know, I think Asperger's something I put down. Hey, bro, you're an Asperger, all right? <laughs> come kiss my triple patty Asperger. But, uh, <laughs> Sounds like a great special at Wendy's. <laughs> well, you know, I was do I do a few jokes on Michael J. Fox, but some people got a little pissed off. I would go. Do people get offended by that? Yeah, I was going. I go. It's open season because he has a sitcom, right? right? So I would go. Here's Michael J. Fox at Subway Sandwich. Hey man, can I help you out? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. 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 That man is a big ass sandwich, man. I can't believe this, but can't do that anymore. <laughs> I liked it. it was I was good. more insulted by the black guy working there. <laughs> <laughs> how you know it? How That's you know it's black? It's offensive on every level. Hey, hey man, working at well, yo Parkinson's. What's up? Well, what's up, man? <laughs> well, you know, black people at well, working at Subway when they order at Subway, it's a little different. You put some cheese on that sucker <laughs> right there. Yes, some lettuce. Yes, my man. Mm -hmm. Lettuce. Lettuce. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> so black people have a little problem, I guess. You know, when they work, you know, when they go to Starbucks and order, it's like, yeah, can I take um. Yeah, give me a fry, uh, uh, let's see, uh, cap, let me, uh, a cap in your ass? Okay, let's try it again. Let me get a, uh, uh, let's try it. take two, let me get a... Uh, oh frappe lappe, okay, all right, okay, let me one more time. Let me get an orange juice real quick, okay. You know what you need to, you should end your act with a black guy with Parkinson's disease. A black guy with Parkinson's? <laughs> because then you uh, offend everybody just all at once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Parkin That's right, we'll put Parkinson's and we'll put Subway sandwiches and we'll also put Parkinson's and diseases and black people at Subway sandwich all together at one at That's Starbucks. your finale. That'll be my finale. It'll be, What's a, your finale? It'll be a great, it'll be a great closer. Uh, well, so you're at Gotham this weekend. Yeah, I went there, I'm at uh, Gotham this weekend with Steve Kramer, this guy, helps me with my impersonations. I think I'm getting some feedback. <laughs> okay, I'm not, not okay. It Here? should be all right, yeah. Yeah, this guy helps me out do my impersonations and uh, he's What do you mean he helps you out? How well, he helps that? me, he's living with me right now. We're doing this uh, animation. We're working on some animated projects and he's really good at animation. So we're uh, we're, we're just touring together, all the you clubs. Mean he draws. He draws oh, and okay. he puts it together. It's a really beautiful thing and uh, we just, uh, when I, right now I'm trying to learn Gene Simmons. He knows Gene Simmons really well. So. Oh, okay. And Christopher Walken, everyone does a Christopher Walken, so I figure why not do like a Dennis Hopper talking to a, you know, to uh you know Christopher Walken. Come on, man, there you go. There's your Dennis Hopper kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you don't see a Hopper a lot. Not too many people do a Hopper, man. And then, of course, you got Mark Wahlberg. He's helping with, gotta act like you're like a running. Not many people do him. Hey, man, what's the deal? Come on, man. I don't <laughs> understand. He's in every movie. <laughs> hey, man, I was just in the commercial, man. Now I'm in the movie here. Come on, man. I don't, <laughs> into a Michael J. Fox kind of thing. You morph into it that. It all ends with Michael J. Fox. I, we'll take a break. Come right back with Pablo Francisco. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.